Hello guys, PH here. Today we're gonna go fishing by that lily pond, maybe another spot. Today is gonna be the Z-Man challenge. I got these Finex Frog Z's. They use a two-aught hook. I only brought these, one pack, and a few two-aught hooks and some bullet weights. Daiwa Tatula setup, St. Croix, and my uh, Daiwa reel here, the spinning one. And that's all I brought. We're going to see if we could get anything, if, even if I could get in on that street over there because it's bad, everything grown, and you'll see me over there next. Alright guys, here's how I have it set up. I put a plastic gambler, this is a bullet weight, they make them plastic with no weight, you screw in, but I cut the back off and I made it like a normal weight. I got the frog with a two uh, hook they say to use, but I don't know, it's kind of big. So we're going to give this a whirl over here first. Then we'll go to the lily pad spot because that looks like hell and I definitely want to show you that. I never used these before. These Z-Man frogs, so we'll have to see how they work. Oh, I think I got a frog. <laughs> you son of a bee. <laughs> Would you look at this, guys? <laughs> the Z-Mans <laughs> catch frogs. Oh my god. That I did not want. As soon as I threw it in there, the sucker just pounced on it. There he is, Mr. Froggy. Let's let him go. Not what I wanted. See if anything's out in that little hole. This is, I can't even use this in here. Crazy, it keeps coming off. Alright, so far the Z Man Frog Z challenge. Not doing so good. Not good at all. Alright, I'm gonna try to go to a different spot. So far nothing here but that and you can see look how bad it is it's crazy we'll see if we can get in somewhere else guys solid plants and solid lily pads on the top that's crazy let's see if you could do it I'm gonna have to hook up my bait caster and try that I'm gonna use a bullet weight and weigh it down a little bit and see how that works the problem is with these they're so soft, they keep undoing from the hook and they fall off. That's the problem. They're good because they're soft, but they have a bad part and that's it. I'm going to hook up the bait caster. All right, guys, I got the bait caster set up. I have a little bullet weight. I'm using a heavier mat too. This is a braided hook. It's a little thicker, so it's heavier. So that's good for bait casters. I use these in flukes and stuff. And it's made for braid, so it's thicker and stronger. And I'll cast a little further. But let's see what this could do. Well, guys, this ain't looking good, this Z Man Frog Challenge. It's hard to fish these over here. Nothing's biting. I'm gonna see if we could go to a different opening. If not, we're gonna go somewhere else, maybe on the other side. All right, guys, came to the other side of this mess pond. So I got the fish over here and to the left. Let's see if we could get anything. So far, these uh, Z-Man frog Z's. 
tough challenge for this spot. I think the problem is now I would want it to float on the surface more. Oh! Oh yeah! Come on, don't get caught in those weeds, baby! Don't come off! Woo! <laughs> the frog worked! Different location. And there she is. Z-Man Finesse Frog Z. Right in his mouth. Right there. Beauty. Let's let him go. I don't know where I'm going to let him go. I'm going to have to throw him over here. Got something, holy moly. There we go. So far that's two on the Z-Man Frog Z. Granted, I'm using them with a weight on there because I can't cast them without a weight. But at least they're working. Probably on a boat or a kayak, it could cast like maybe 15, 20 feet or so. See if anything's inside there. Oh! Ah, I missed them! Ah, oh, Lord. There we go. Get up, get up, wherever you are. That was what was biting. Whew. I took the frog good. Right there. I think I need my pliers. Yep. Hold on, guys. He took that frog really good. Oops. There he is. The Z-Man frog. Let's let him go. Oh, that was nice. All right, guys, I caught a big bullfrog here and three bass. It's hard to fish here with all this crud. It's a little more open here. But anyhow, I'm going to go to my other scum pond and see if we could catch more on these Z-Man frogs, frog Z's. There we go. <laughs> little Bascardo. Seems like the bass are liking these little frog looks. Hey, threaded the leg. Z-Man leg right through his mouth. One thing I hate about the Z-Man bait. Look, it's threaded through his mouth. <laughs> I got him. Let's let him go. Oh. 
a late There he is. What the hell? He just stopped moving. He was fighting. <laughs> he just gave up. <laughs> oh, you lazy bass, you. Fought for one second, then you gave up, huh? Come on. There it is. Frog Z. Let's let him go. Belly Whopper. Just to think, last time I was here, I was out on the land over here. I walked all the way across over there and fished. Now it's all underwater. And we're getting rain again. Oh, oh that was a little one. <laughs> And we're getting rain again right now. And we got bad rain for the last two days. I mean, really torrential rain. So that's why this got so filled up. Let's try to get some more. Up, oh, that was a pickerel. There goes the Z man. Dang it! I don't have no leaders. Gone with the wind, pickerel. I only have one Z-Man left and one on my rod. Oh yeah! And <laughs> back. Right in the weirdest spot. Whew. Right up against where the water comes in. Oh, you're not getting me with the hook. There he is. Beauty. Let this sucker go. <whistles> All right, we'll try here. on the edge here see if there's anything right on the edge never know ah, he was on the edge whoa <laughs> there little guy Good jumper right on the edge and there he is let's let him go Oh, oh, I need it. I'm going to sneak on the edge here. Throw it a few more times. Before I go in. Because you never know. Oh, something was right there. <laughs> oh, man, I missed him. There was a fish right here, so I'm going to wiggle this. Oh my god, <laughs> there was a fish right in the front. Alright, stay still, bugger. Ugh. Seems like the bass are liking these frogs. It's getting late here. Alright, let them go. I'm not going to go in quite yet, guys. I'm going to throw this if I can on this edge here. Like that.
Oh. They're biting through this green duckweed again. This frog works good, it looks like, on that. Get him out here. He got it funny. I don't want to get. There he is. Oh, I'm not going in that water just yet, guys. I'm staying on the edge here because I'm getting quite a few nails over here. Probably can't see him, but let him go. Whoa, it's caught on my. Man, I probably just scared everything. Alrighty, guys, that's it for me. It's getting late here. The mosquitoes are out like crazy. The finesse frog Z's, they work all right. I think if you were on a kayak or a boat and you used them without any weight, just to toss them and work them on the top, they'll work better that way for top. They work all right with the bullet weight, just that this place is so slimy and the other place you could hardly even fish them. What I really think would have worked better for me was if I used the larger size, I think they would have been better. I caught a few bass. I missed one pickerel. I lost two of the frogs. It was all right, I guess. I only brought them one color, so could have been a bad color. Who knows? But anyhow, they worked all right. I like them. I might give the bigger ones a try. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it as always. I'll see you next time on the water. Please leave a comment if you can and a thumbs up. Help me out. And hit that bell so you don't miss any future pH videos. See you next time, guys. <laughs> pH out. That's it.